Hey guys, welcome to Arihant Online Academy. In this video, we will discuss about the grid day algorithm. It is very basics, and in this video lecture, we will learn about the very basics of grid day algorithm. What are the introduction part, basic parts, which are the uh, keywords under grid day algorithm, advantages, disadvantages, and the application of grid day algorithm. Right. So let's start. Basically, grid day algorithm gives the best solution at the current time as of situation. Right. Suppose you have many games, right? You might take chess and you might take tennis as an example, or you might take cricket as an example. In chess, you have to remember the future goals also, right? So to take future goals in mind, you will take the step as according to that. But in cricket, you will handle the present situation, right? So basically, greedy algorithm depends on the present condition right so it will locally depends or locally take the decision on the basis of present condition right that is why it is called as it is best solution at the current time as of situation right greedy algorithm works in stages right so it will uh, works in stages and after each stages it will put your it will put its local optimum solution right and overall it will give optimum global solution a decision is made which is good at the point without bothering about the future right so basically it will find profit in the present condition it provides global optimal solution so it is the introduction of greedy algorithm now the basic part the keywords or the terminology they will be used are solution space what is solution space solution space is basically set of all possible solutions over the given n number of inputs right so suppose we have provided here n number of inputs then set of all possible solutions over the given n number of inputs is called as solution space because most of the problems in greedy technique contains n number of inputs and output is subset of input and which will satisfy our condition and will give optimal solution right now feasible solution is there set of all possible solutions which will satisfy our condition is called as feasible solution right and then optimal solution is there best solution among the feasible solution or solutions which optimizes our goal are optimal solution under that now the advantages of greedy algorithm is it is direct and very straightforward right the second is it is very easy to understand then easy to code in any programming language and it do not need any re-examination of already computed values right so that is why it is very easy and straightforward to apply now there are various disadvantages as well not applicable for many problems right because there are many problems existed which we can't solve optimally by using greedy algorithm right so that is why it is not applicable for most of the problems many of the problems right because we want our global optimal solution and in many problems if we will apply greedy algorithm we will not able to find the optimal solution there global optimal solution there right so it is not applicable for many of the problems means there is not any confirmation in most of the cases that whether there is a global optimal solution for all local improvements or not right now the applications of the greedy algorithm there are various applications of the greedy algorithm which are as follows here we are discussing about the application part and in our upcoming video lectures we will discuss about the each and every application in very detail right so please don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon button so that you can't miss any of the important updates from our side now very first application of greedy algorithm is job sequencing with deadlines the next one is knapsack problem is there However, we will also discuss the 0 by 1 knapsack which will under the uh, next part of our algorithm, right? Optimal merge pattern is also application of greedy algorithm, then selection sort, topological sort, heap sorting, Huffman coding, Prim's algorithm and Kruskal's algorithm, right? So basically these are the applications of greedy algorithm in which we will apply the algorithm of greedy approach and we will find the global optimal solution by applying local optimal solution at the present condition right so we will see this in our next lecture so i hope you will understand the basic parts of greedy algorithm the advantages disadvantages and applications and what are the important key terminologies right so i hope you have understood that further if you have any kind of queries or doubts you can comment us and we will try to solve your doubts and query as early as possible thank you so much guys have a nice day jai hind jai bharat